Hi, my name is Kyle Beatty. I'm the director here at 319-272. I'd like to thank you guys for taking the time to look at our project. Uh, it's something really exciting that my partner Matt and I have been working on for quite some time now. Uh, the whole idea behind 319-272 is to collect the artwork from artists from non-democratic countries, artists who have been victimized by censorship, and to tell you and show you the truth of their stories, uh, everything that the governments don't want you to see. The name of the organization comes from the Declaration of Human Rights. Uh, Article 3 states that everyone has the right to life, liberty, and protection. Article 19 focuses on freedom of expression, and Article 27, paragraph 2, uh, focuses on intellectual property rights. So all the proceeds from all the art that we sell during these exhibitions go right back to the artist's pocket. Thank you for taking the time to come and see this and we hope you enjoy. Persian Sucker is an exciting exhibition. Uh, it's meant to provoke the viewers and have them question their sensibilities in today's cultural climate. Uh, as we follow the footsteps of the past to more contemporary issues, uh, we'll focus on things like you know, female oppression, uh, political injustice, and archaic values of conservative societies. Like pieces of a puzzle or the weaving of a tapestry, uh, each of these carefully curated pieces define a thread of culture that has an undeniable impact on millions of people still living within their borders. Persian Sucker tugs teasingly at that thread, begs the audience to widen their gaze and engage in a discussion uh, to feel empowered to take an active role in supporting the artists in their old countries. Behind me is a collection called Sia Mashk. Uh, it's generally believed that the IRGC is providing the citizens of Iran with opiates as a means of control. Uh, the artist who created this piece of work is, unfortunately was you know, one of their victims. Uh, although he was under their control, he still wanted to create artwork. This artist focuses on more surreal aspects of society, uh, superimposing models into generally restrictive areas of Iran and India, uh, imagining what it would be like if the female form and female sexuality weren't a cause for condemnation. This artist uh, focuses on the more comical aspects of a society. Uh, growing up in India, he sees a lot of you know, very traditional aspects uh, mixed with uh, the Indian culture trying to you know, move forward into the 21st century and just the juxtaposition between you know, the old classical style and the new modern take.
this artist focuses on his everyday surroundings, uh, things he sees in his community, uh, scenes inside shops, the way that women are treated uh, in his community, uh, painting a grotesque picture of reality uh, where things aren't always what they seem.